Before installing the anemometer, attach the wind cups. Wait until you have installed the anemometer before you attach the wind vane. In order to install the wind cups, we need to insert it into the smaller shaft of the base. And we do so by just simply inserting it into the smaller shaft. Make sure that you insert make sure you insert the dip ring before you insert the wind cup. You insert it like so. Make sure it's sitting right. Insert the wind cup. Now when inserting the wind cup, you don't want to insert it all the way up to the point where it does not spin. You want to have it have some sort of play, but not too much. When inserting the dip ring, make sure that you insert the wind cups right below it. Make sure you have leeway so that way it doesn't tighten up too much where it doesn't spin. Use the L key to tighten up the screw that locks it in in place. Again, we have to make sure that we have enough play so that the wind cups do not stay stuck in one position. Now as far as the wind vane, you want to install the wind vane after you mounted the anemometer onto the mounting bracket. Now that we've connected the wind cups onto the anemometer, next step would be to mount it onto the weather station. Before that, we want to make sure that it is working properly. In order to do that, do some test procedures before mounting it onto the weather station. In order to do that, we need to connect it to the junction box and test the equipment. Do so by grabbing the leads. Now that we're going to test the anemometer, we get the leads for the wind and wind speed. Red and black are for your wind speed, green and yellow are for your wind. And we just simply connect it to the terminals. Green for wind. Yellow for wind. Red and black for wind speed. Now our unit is pre-wired to our iGrow controller so that we can test it to see if it works or not. Just to confirm that we are getting a reading and we have properly connected everything, we want to just simply uh, test it out through our unit. And we test the wind cups by just spinning it and we should get a reading here wind vane we just simply move it and we should get a reading on the wind east south east and that indicates that we are getting a reading as far as the light sensor which is located on the weather station we are also getting a reading here 22 watts